All right, we're good to go. Hey there. It's been a while since I recorded this way. Doing this podcast, doing these videos or recordings, it has been such a journey. For me, it started around the start of 2020. I even remember it was February or March. We were just told that there is this new virus called COVID and the world was going to end. And on the 18th of March, I remember there was going to be this new thing called a lockdown and everything was closing. No more shops, no more gyms, which was a detriment for me personally. I wasn't prepared to work out at home full time. Because here's the thing, I am capable of doing that, but having access to the gym was practically a luxury that I got used to. Anyway, I managed on that front, I managed. On the emotional front, um, I didn't have a problem with having a lockdown. I know a lot of people did have a problem with it. A lot of people were unable to handle it. And I respect that. I understand that. Uh, on the emotional front, I remember I was a mess. However, I dealt with that and in dealing with it, I managed to reach a point of being like a monk. Um, I was spending days alone, I was meditating and it came to me to start this podcast. If you're watching on YouTube and you don't know about my podcast, it started as an audio only thing. And I talked about so many things. I talked about agree being agreeable. I talked about perfectionism. I talked about friendship, anger, hatred, love. In one episode, I even visited the abyss. And even as I say this now, as I recall that episode, as I recall that episode, it it's, escapes me. It was a journey. It wasn't something that I had planned. I just went there and decided to take the microphone with me. Quite literally, I hit record, I closed my eyes, and I just talked. When you go into that darkness, into that pit, and it, it was not empty. It was dark, it was silent, and it was familiar as well. Here's the thing. One of the most beautiful things in life that I've encountered is the humans <clears throat> is the human's capacity to be true to who they are. It's in they call it being raw, I call it being genuine. It's in being sincere and flowing it's it's when you're in that flow state and we tend to lose that we tend to even forget about it why well life happens we have to focus on the things that we deal with we have to focus on our chores our duties and that isn't a bad thing. It's a good thing to be someone productive. It certainly takes you out of 
being stuck. It does take you out of your mind. Your mind is a universe. You are a universe. Your mind is space. And if you stay there for too long, you get pulled into it. The The world itself, it, it becomes distant. And imagine, imagine this. I know not all of us went underwater into the ocean. I was lucky enough to go there once in my life. Um, went scuba diving. Anyway, imagine yourself falling underwater and that's it. You are isolated from the world above the surface. And that's how it is when you are absorbed into your mind. The longer you stay there, the further away the world is. It becomes an echo. It becomes something very far away. <laughs> so back to the reason or the way I've been doing the podcast. It was a journey, you know, I started it just saying my thoughts, thinking about subjects. And when they come to me, I would just talk about them. Usually they are topics that I know at least enough about to present in a podcast. Generally, my rule of thumb was, actually, there are several rules, but let's say um, it was to know more than what I would be talking about. So if I was going to talk about a certain subject, I would make sure that I know enough so that I wouldn't just not be able to cover it enough. Let's say I'm doing a recording that will be 15 minutes long. If I didn't know enough, then it's going to be like one of those shows where they are filled with what they call fillers, just repeating the same things, not saying anything of substance. So my rule of thumb was to know enough that I'd be able to talk about it more, no more than what I will say, at least. Another rule of thumb that I, I don't know if you can have one more than rule of thumbs. I'm not sure. But anyway, another rule that I did have was to mean and be genuine about what I say. I have to mean it. It has to be true. It has to not be false, at least. I, I had to not lie, you know. If I were to say something that I don't mean, it would show on my face. It would show in my tone of voice. It wouldn't, like, like I cannot hide it. I would not be able to cover it. So I think somewhere along the way, after doing 30, 40 episodes, uh, I started getting so much feedback about wanting to have my podcast be in Arabic. And I loved the idea. I was leaning towards speaking in Arabic. I was leaning towards expressing myself casually, even though I am casual now, I'm not, I'm not trying to stay true to a specific set of rules. No, I'm, I'm just honestly just talking. Sorry. I'm just honestly just talking to a friend, you, you, yes you listening to me, you are my friend. And I'm not pretending, I'm not trying to do anything that isn't something that's coming from within, you know? So anyway, I was like, yeah, let's do that. And some of the episodes were 
hybrids, I guess. I, I spoke in Arabic and English. I didn't care. I just went with it. And then with time, I aimed to make it more in one language than the other. And I liked it. The reason I liked it, reasons, two reasons or maybe three, I'll, I'll see. Anyway, one of the reasons were was one of the reasons was it was me expressing myself it was genuine it was true and it was subjects topics that i knew enough about to talk about so i i was still operating under the same uh, umbrella that i operate under and the other reason was the feedback that I was getting. It was positive. It was people. So here's, here's what the feedback was. It was that people wanted to listen to me in Arabic. They wanted to understand. And I respect that. I get that. Um, and speaking in Arabic was way more accessible to me than to speak in English and then spend time and energy tra writing a transcript in Arabic and then putting it into the video. Now, I'm not against working and doing the work itself, but it was too much work for one person that when I did it, it took so much time and so much energy. Sure, there are softwares that, let's call them AI. I'm not even sure if AI is right or wrong, and I'm not sure why I'm doing the air quotes. I, I retract the air quotes. Maybe they are AI. Anyway, there are tools that use AI that allow you to quickly transcribe the audio, the spoken words. Even social media has those now. And I'd be able to just take the text and translate it and put it back in and then export a text file. I think it, the file is called SRT, doesn't matter anyway. And then put it somewhere on online for people to read and translate. But here's the thing, that's, that's suboptimal, I think. I think it is suboptimal. Anyway, so I did that. I did the episodes in Arabic, and I loved it. I was, I was just doing the same thing. Um, but I noticed something different about me, and this is the reason I'm doing this episode. Honestly, I noticed that I was leaning towards being informative, being educational being helpful, which is good. I'm not saying it's it's bad. I'm not saying I will not continue to do that. I love it. But <clears throat> I was drifting away from the core of why I'm doing this. And that core is to speak, to express something within that comes naturally, something that's something that's intricate, something that's that has a soul. Here's the thing. I will not, I'm, I'm not going to shy away from saying what I think about my own content. Sometimes I do think negatively about some of the content that I make, but I know that all the content that I did make on, on the podcast, I think highly of it. I like it. Um, also, I don't think highly of it. I think accurately of it. I think it's good. I like it. However, this is something that I felt. Maybe it doesn't show. Maybe it shows. I'm not sure. But it's something that I felt. Parts of me were not there. I'm not sure how to describe it. But... Uh, I allowed something outside of me to be there and 
that was fine. Here's the thing, and maybe maybe this is something that would fit behind the scenes, let's say. My environment really affects me. And when I say environment, I even mean my thoughts, my mind. It is an environment. And sometimes it affects the way I operate. It affects the way I conduct myself, the way I speak. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. I would not be able to speak this way, do this recording, if I was, for example, somewhere crowded, even if there was no noise coming into this microphone, if I was able to isolate the microphone and speak like this, it would not be the same thing. However, that doesn't mean that it's bad when my environment was different. It just means it made me conduct myself differently. Um, that's, that's another thing, by the way. Just because something changes the way you are or the way that you're used to doesn't necessarily state that it's a bad thing. No, it just states that it's different. I'll give you just a quick example or a quick story. It's not an example. I remember going to a place where there was kind of a dress code, optional dress code, and I I didn't want to abide by that dress code. So I, I got there. I was dressed up casually, the usual, the usual to me at least. And I met a friend there and I said, hey, I love the way you're looking. However, uh, you know, I didn't feel like going by the dress code. That friend, to their good intentions, they didn't say anything bad or meant anything. They immediately said, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. You, you, you don't have to. They were thinking that I was justifying myself. When... Mm, my intention was that, hey, it's okay to be different. I decided that I'm not abiding by that dress code. I'm not abiding by the usual or the expected. However, I'm okay with that. So that we tend to do that, by the way. When we, when we find something that changes certain things, we go out of our way to express how, hey, no, no, it's okay, that doesn't, it, it, it's fine. It's as if the default expected response is that it isn't fine, that it's a problem, but it's not, it's just different. Hmm. I do... I always think about this. I always know that it is the case. How different is fine? <clears throat> Sorry, again. How different is fine? Just because something is different doesn't mean doesn't mean it's wrong or right or it's a problem. No, it it just is different. Hmm. You know. Another thing related to the change in environment is the way this, this, yes, what I'm using, the podcast, this medium, it feels isolated from, from other environments, the public being in a group setting, being when you're, and, and this is maybe personal to me, I'm not sure if it's the same for you. When you're browsing social media or you're on your phone or your PC or whatever, maybe even TV, and it's loud, it's filled with content, it's filled with people, it's filled with opinions and thoughts and loud 
noises and crackling, shouting, laughing, crying. This feels isolated, even if maybe this recording will find its way out there among them to me, maybe to you, I'm not sure. It feels like an escape. <laughs> now, I'm not sure how many of the people who listen to this in Arabic are disappointed that this one recording is not. But I do keep in mind that, hey, what matters is that this is genuine. This is true and it's <clears throat> everything that you do. I'll put it this way. Everything that you do will bring about itself different opinions. Some people will say they like it. Some people will say they prefer the other way. Hey, you should do it the way you used to do it. No, you should do it that way. And I'd like to think that this is the majority of people. Some people, no, the majority of people will say, hey, as long as you're happy, as long as you're doing what you want to be doing, then that's all that matters. Yeah. I always, and I, I encourage you to do the same thing. I always aim to believe in the good in people. And I'm not saying it in the generic, uh, us usual definition, definition. No, I mean, I mean it as in when someone acts a certain way or they make you feel a certain way, I assume good intentions. I assume that maybe they misunderstood me. Maybe they weren't having a good day. Maybe, maybe they are hurt and that hurting was being expressed being omitting out of them. And I seek to be understanding beyond a personal perspective level, meaning even if someone, whoever it is, even if it's not with me, even if someone acts in a mean, vile way towards you or someone else or whatever, I feel bad for them and not in a, not in a disgust kind of bad, no, but Hey, this person is acting this way. They are being this way. Maybe they're hurt. Maybe they're, they are misunderstood. Maybe a lot of maybes. So I feel compassion for them. I don't encourage them to keep doing what they're doing, obviously, but I do feel compassion for them. We're all humans and we're all trying in this life. Hey, I'll, I'll leave you with just one final thought. I'll leave you with just one final thought. Okay. Do you remember the child that you were when you were nine, 10 years old? Imagine looking back at that kid, the you from the past, and imagine that kid looking back at you, realizing that you are them. What happened to you? No, what happened to that kid? You are that kid. So hug your child self and love them. Love yourself. Take care. And I'll talk to you next time.